So yesterday, of course, uh, we released an advisory about the situation in the accident and emergency department. I can tell you that today the situation is significantly improved. Uh, yesterday, we were uh, still waiting to see about 50 patients. I can tell you that number has been cut in half. So we have made significant strides, but we want to continue to appeal to the public. If your situation is not emergent, if it's not an emergency, if it's not life-threatening, you can seek alternate uh, medical accommodation or treatment. And we also want to encourage people, if you're unsure about, if you should come to the end, you can call our help desk as well. The number is 536-4800. Our, our team there, they're working to midnight, so the help desk is available between 9 in the morning and midnight. And you can have your questions there so you can have a better idea about if you need or if you should use the services of the accident and emergency department. I also want to speak a bit about some of the people who do not need to come there. We've been seeing a number of patients coming there with uh, elevated, uh, elevated levels, elevated blood pressure levels, uh, elevated uh, sugar levels as well. And, and I just want to say that uh, you can go to your medical physician, your, your medical doctor, to have your situation assessed before deciding to come to accident and emergency uh, department because in those cases, you will have to wait a bit longer to be assessed. We have been able to cut down the waiting times as well, but again, we don't want to be inundated like what we saw yesterday and over the past uh, 48 to 72 hours, but we have been able to address that significantly. Have people been heeding the advice not to come if they don't have emergency cases? Well, it seems that way because uh, uh, we've seen a, an ease in the patient flow and our doctors have been able to see more patients and cut the numbers waiting in half. So from 50, it's gone to around 22. So that uh, is what we're seeing there in AD right now. And with you encouraging people to seek medical care uh, alternatives, including the polyclinics, have you put anything in place to perhaps um, prepare for an influx of patients there? Not the polyclinics? Yeah. Well, I can't speak to the polyclinics. I could only speak to the hospital. Do you know what led to the increase over the past, well, the last 40 hours? I mean, it's a, it's a wide range, it's a spectrum, but still we are seeing uh, some patients uh, that can see alternate care elsewhere still choosing to come to the accident and emergency department. So we try to explain to them that when they come in those situations, they will have to wait a bit longer than they would like to. But it is a process. And the triage system, uh, through the triage system where there is a priority list, of course, categories one, category one and twos are uh, those gunshot victims, those people with heart attacks, resuscitations, they will be seen immediately. So then in those cases, it would push back those other patients who would have to wait a bit longer for cure.